All right, everybody, do while loops. A do while loop, it does some block of code first, and then you repeat that block of code if a condition is true. Here's an example. Let's write a program that will ask a user to enter in a positive number. First, we'll use a while loop. that will demonstrate how a do while loop would actually be better for the situation. We have an integer number. Int number. I'll write a while loop. While number is less than zero, we will prompt the user to enter in a positive number. Enter a positive number. Okay, standard input number. Outside of the while loop, at the end of our program, let's display the number. Standard output, the number is number. So this isn't going to work normally. Here's why. Let's run this. The number is zero. So this is what's going on. We've declared our number, but have not assigned a value quite yet. When we reach the while loop, we check the condition. If the condition is true, we execute this block of code. Since we've declared an integer variable, but have not assigned it a value, it's defaulting to just zero. Zero is not less than zero, so this condition is false. That means we skip the while loop and continue on. Another way in which we could write this, but it's not the best solution, is that we could copy what's within this block of code, then run it once. If number is still less than zero, we would then execute this block of code repeatedly. Let's try this again. Okay, enter a positive number, one, two, three. The number is one, two, three. Let's type in a negative number, negative one. Enter a positive number, negative one. Enter a positive number negative one. So I can't actually continue until I enter in a positive number. You know, this does work, but there's a much better way of writing this because, you know, we're repeating at least two lines of code when we really don't need to. We need to run this block of code once and then repeat it if this condition is true. Well, you know what would be great for that? A do while loop. Let's eliminate these two lines of code. To create a do while loop, we will move this condition to the end. While, then our condition, preceding the left curly brace, right, do. Do this code once, and then check the condition. Make sure you have a semicolon at the end. Let's try it again. Enter a positive number, I'm just gonna type in a negative number. Negative one, nope, negative one, nope. How about a positive number, one, two, three? The number is one, two, three. So that's a do while loop. You do some block of code first, then you repeat it again if the condition is true. It's an optional way to repeat some code. One good use of a do-while loop that comes to mind, maybe we're playing a game. We would like to run the game once. At the end of the game, a user can choose if they would like to play again. Based on the user's input, if they would like to play again, we can run the game one more time, repeatedly. So that's a do-while loop, everybody. I'll post this code in the comments section down below. And well, yeah, that's a do-while loop in C++.